picking back up with Deja. Um, you know, I, in my last video that, you know, cut off, I'm thinking that I'm at the part where Deja tells them that they look like she. And um, she's apologizing about the rent. So, um, Deja's like the little common relief. I mean, again, go watch a show caught up. I'm not going to review that show because uh, my equipment. It's so many shows that I could review um, that I love, but I just do not at this time have the equipment for it. I thought that I did because, you know, I thought I could, you know, tape on my computer. But it does the same thing. It's glitching in and out. Um, we've having, we are having some troubles with our Wi-Fi uh, connections in, in the SIP, in this area of the SIP, so... <laughs> bear with me and I have to bear with myself because I am totally irritated okay anyway Fatima agrees to come back home um and uh she tells Zach that he needs to go see the therapist and he's like you know he feels so empty right now and uh but he really does not know how to feel but he knows that he did love his mom and uh Fatima says well I'm here for you and uh, I'm going to build you back up. There's that build a brother that I was talking about. Hashtag build a brother. <laughs> because, uh, you know, over there on uh, Kent, uh, on sisters, Karen is not building him up. She just wants him back. Because she did build him. Right? And now she feels like the way Tyler got her all desperate over there. She feels like now that she's built him up, that all the things that Fatima is getting are hers. Okay. And then, foreshadow, foreshadow, uh, Zach tells her that I'm going to be a better parent to my kids than uh, she was to me. And uh, Fatima's got a secret. She, deep, she really knows what she wants to say, but she knows that this is not the time to say it. And he said, she said, we will be good parents. We. But Zach knows that he has one of them possible. <laughs> possible is Karen the baby. And hopefully, when we get back over there on Sisters, which I will be reviewing, she has at least a small baby bump. Anyway. Bryce and Angela arrive, and there's Deja again, out there in the park. Hey, girl. <laughs> Ooh, who's that fine Chinese man? And uh, Angela's like, uh, uh, you know, he's Japanese. And uh, she's like, gone in the house, Deja. Everybody tells her Deja's gone in the house. And, hell, you know, Bryce is freaky. So, you know, if Deja down what he down with, he, he about to give her that phone number. Can I get your number? Yeah, yeah, y'all gonna make some pretty mixed babies doing that stereotype shit. Y'all don't call babies mixed, uh, vibrational, or multicultural. Because mixed, you mix cookies in a bowl. And uh, they go inside, and Ansel doesn't want Bryce to tell him about the frozen assets. And uh, Bryce is, is clamoring. He wants to tell, he wants to tell, he, cause he, he's blaming Zach for everything. And uh, he's being all belligerent. Uh, you know, uh, I know you did something. Everything comes out in the wash right here. He tells Zach, you did it, you did it. Um, you had our assets frozen. And then Zach leaves the room. And Zach uh, comes, when Zach comes back in, he's like, well, you know, did you go forward with the deal when I told you we didn't have the money? He's like, well, I used the business account. And at that point, he realizes the idiot. Realizes that he's the one with the not Zach. And he's like, well, well, uh, I, I, I didn't mean to. You are the one who messed up. And then he says, it was Gary. He messed up our money. And then for time, like, that's it right there. You fucking around with Gary. He said, I'm going to make this right. I'm going to make this right. Uh. Zach's like, well, I told you not to mess with our money because I told you not to go through with the deal. But it was a good deal. 
and then uh, they leave. And Zatima tells Zach to go get some rest. And he's like, uh, how am I supposed to rest like this? She said, I don't know how to get you to rest. And he's like, you talking about sex? Because I ain't screwing that thing. Thing. And she said, boy, no, I'm talking about a sleeping pill. And uh, I'm not talking about puss puss. <laughs> Back over at, at, at uh, Angela and Bryce's, well, Angela's spot. He's like, I, I know, I, I know, I, I know, I fucked up. I'm gonna get the money. I'm gonna get the money. Uh, my dad, my dad may give me the money. And uh, Angela calls the team and she tells her that uh, Bryce is going to get the money. And she says, Good, no better fuck his punk ass dealing with Gary over there on the sister. But you don't see Gary on this show. Right? So, apparently, Bryce is Jake from State Farm. <laughs> she says, how's that? And I was how's that? She says, he's sleeping. Um, and then she said, well, I know that uh, Bryce was being a jackass. And then she said, well, I'm about to go talk to Jeremiah. He is also a jackass. And then she said, girl... Then let me come with you. And she's like, uh-uh. But Tima got her, got her heat in her purse. She ain't worried about a thing. She going to see Jeremiah, and she going to do it on her own. That is the end of episode 20. And I will be back to review episode 21. And that episode is called The Ugly Truth.